Don Spencer, president of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association. Uh, this week, an effort to repeal constitutional carry has taken place. It is called a referendum, and they have until uh, August the 28th to collect uh, over 50,000 signatures uh, to have this be uh, placed on the ballot for 2020. What could happen if they do actually get the votes or if they actually get the signatures that would actually suspend this uh, constitutional carry going into law on November the 1st and will be hanging in limbo until the people can vote on it in 2020 uh, in the general election. So what OK2A doing and is involved is, is I've been working with House leadership and uh, also just some other things all around, uh, all around the state capitol today especially uh, to make sure that uh, they're gonna have to have all their T's crossed and I's dotted uh, on this referendum. But first off, they've got to come up with 52,000 legitimate uh, verifiable signatures. So OK2A is keeping an eye on this. We don't, uh, uh, it's kind of a Hail Mary pass to repeal constitutional carry because I quite honestly feel like uh, since we've been 112 years without this right, and it's going to be reinstalled on November the 1st, and I can't pe imagine people are going to want to wait a year to vote on the fact to have the right taken away from them that they've now finally gotten. So again, this is uh, about the referendum for the state of Oklahoma on constitutional carry, OK2A. Okay, uh, if you enjoy and like keeping up to date on these things, subscribe on this YouTube channel, and I appreciate your support.